Ciao, everybody. Well, here we have the Jordanov Vranac, as the grape is pronounced in Macedonia. It's also native to Serbia and Montenegro, but really thrives in the high, dry plains of the Tikvesh subdivision of Macedonia, where this one comes from. The name Vranac translates loosely to Black Stallion, owing both to the grape's forceful character and also that inky hue. It has reasonably thick skins, naturally high tannins, and medium-high acidity, but despite all that fortitude can be a bit of a prima donna in the vineyard. Vranets is very uh, sensitive to cold, maturation can also shut down in the heat, and it's susceptible to mold as well. So high and dry, once again, really the name of the game. Soil types can have an impact as well. In this part of the world, it's a type of clay called Renzina, which reinforces the natural tannic structure of the grape. Although, because it's so sunny in Tikvesh, this area is also known for producing a rounder, riper style of wine overall. And this wine strikes me almost as being international in style, even though the oak regimen is very modest, just six months in a combination of Slavonian and French casks. Uh, lastly, this area has almost no rain. Uh, and uh, so it's incredible that these 35-year-old vines are dry farmed. We're anticipating about 40 feet of roots under plants just a couple of feet high. So both a marvel of nature and also delicious in the glass. Enjoy.